Hello everybody and welcome back to another quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering quantum stockpiles. We did this once before, but I had some out of it information in it which was giving people some problems, mostly minecarts being launched across the map. In this video I aim to remedy that by simply re-recording the whole thing. So in order to make a quantum stockpile, we're going to need a minecart. We're going to do that here at this carpenter shop. So I'm just going to add a new task and I'm going to type in minecart. These can be made out of several different materials including wood and any other metal. Now that the minecart is finished, we're going to actually set up the stockpile itself. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to go to the constructions menu, we're going to go to constructions in the build menu, and then we're going to click on track stop. Now this is where we select what direction we want it to go. It doesn't really matter. We can go to left, right, up, down. We're just going to go to the left. Then from there, where we are going to select the material after placement. We're going to select this little spot right here. It doesn't really matter where. And we're going to be making a stockpile for wood. So we're going to select that. As you can see, there's now a tiny little, almost impossible to see little stop itself. Then here we're going to grab our stockpiles. And we're going to put a slightly bigger stockpile on this side and we're going to accept it, and then we're going to put a slightly smaller stockpile on the other side. Then we're going to accept that. Now once we've done that, we're going to go to the one on the right over here, and we are going to select wood, right? So now all the wood from the entire vicinity is going to be put into this stockpile. Well, or at the very least, six pieces of wood, because that's as much as can fit in this stockpile. Once the stockpile is full, we're also going to make sure that the second stockpile over here on the left is also set to wood, and then we are going to work with this. Hey, look, a squirrel. Once both sides of this are full of wood, because we added this one as well to be a wood stockpile, I'm going to select set hauling routes for minecarts. From there, we're going to add a new route, and we're going to select the stop button. We're going to select the center one. This is immediately going to uh, set that up as our minecart stop. And of course, anything that goes into the minecart is going to be immediately emptied out to the left, which means I can actually go to the conditions here, and we can remove all of them. This was the issue in the previous video. Then from there, we're going to click on this, and this button is going to allow us to select which stockpiles we load the minecart from. We're going to select the one in the middle and click on the right here because this is our loading stockpile. We don't need to tell it to unload anywhere because it will automatically unload into the left side. Then from there, we're going to click on this button, which allows us to se select what we're going to put into the minecart. So for example, if you want to make a minecart stockpile like this for food, you can, you can select the food section. If you want to make specific types of weapons, you can make one out of specific types of weapons. This is basically your filter and how you're going to filter exactly what is going into your quantum stockpile. I'm going to select wood and we're going to select all because that's all that we need. Then the last thing I need to do is I need to add our minecart to the quantum stockpile and then simply watch the magic happen. As you can see, although already down here, the sand pair wood minecart has been added to the stockpile. The dwarves are going to grab it, and now it's just a matter of waiting for them to show up and start moving stuff over. As you can see, all of the dwarves are now loading stuff up. They're doing this task called store item in vehicle, and then they're going to start storing items in stockpiles. And what this is doing is it's every single time they put it into the minecart, it automatically gets booted directly over to the left into this infinite pile. This is just going to keep stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking until we run out of that type of material. We can be as granular with these as we want, selecting only specific types of wood, or as general as we want, selecting literally everything in the fortress, although I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. I personally feel that quantum stockpiles should be used sparingly. However, there are some really interesting applications that you can use them for. Uh, as an example, as I'm, as I'm showing on screen right now, this is a setup in my current fortress where I'm using them to dump bodies into the lava, which is a very effective method of getting rid of everything that you don't want on the map. I once again recommend that you use these sparingly, as they are sort of a bug, but they're at the point where they're an accepted mechanic to the point where just, just about everybody uses them. Use them where you feel you need them in stockpiles that you don't want to see, and use them where you feel you need them where stockpiles need to be heavily organized where space is confined. And then for the rest of the time, simply use regular stockpiles as they do generally work just fine. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, check out the YouTube channel and I will be going back and redoing some of my older tutorials just to correct them and make sure that the information is accurate. The original tutorial of this has been unlisted, but you can find it down in the link in the description of this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.